A major land deal has been struck on Utah's Capitol Hill involving hundreds of thousands of acres in the controversial Bears Ears National Monument. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the late breaking details from Utah's Capitol Hill. Roll that motion passes unanimously. It took only a few minutes for legislative leaders to sign off on a major land deal with the federal government involving the Bears Ears National Monument. We're trading out of this land with the federal government and in return getting some targeted parcels that will allow us to actually make money. That's our mandate is to make money for the school children of the state of Utah. Under the deal, the state will give the federal government 161,000 acres of land it has inside the monument. The feds will give the state 164,000 acres of land scattered across Utah. That land can be used for a number of things, including real estate and energy development. What type of mineral extraction you're talking about in the areas that you outlined or that you mentioned? We've got everything from uh, oil and gas potential to uh, potash, helium, renewable energy, solar, lithium, some mining targets as well, gold, metalliferous minerals. The head of the school trust lands administration believes it's a good deal. Financially speaking, the land inside the monument wasn't able to generate much money. Sitla is currently making about $80,000 a year and that's off grazing revenue. And that really, given the situation in our land position, is the best use of that land currently. It would be very difficult to do much else with that right now. We anticipate we will make tens of millions of dollars within the short term, potentially hundreds of millions of dollars in the long term. The Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance says it actually supports the deal. The environmental group tells Fox 13 News it's going to result in better management for the sacred and cultural sites within the monument. But the group says the devil's in the details and has concerns about what lands the feds will be giving up. Not every Everyone is thrilled with it. Some in San Juan County have complained they won't get as much usable land. Continue to be involved with the county and uh, work with San Juan County uh, specifically on to address as many uh, uh, of their concerns as possible. I think, again, none of us really want to be in this situation. San Juan County is in a difficult situation. It has very little private land, a lot of federal land, and this would leave them with a greater number of acres of federal land. We believe it actually gives them a better chance for economic development. Now, the deal has support from the Utah Education Association, the state's largest teachers union, because the money ultimately goes toward education. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.